give you all the thanks. We give you praises, glory, honor, and adoration unto your name and to your will, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Hey, oh, unto Christ our King, the Lord of Lords, unto Christ our King, the Lord of Lords, unto Christ our King, the just celebrate the presence of God in this place. Let us celebrate our shield, our buckler, our deliverer, our ancient of days. He's the king of kings. He's the lord of lords. Father, we celebrate your presence. My reverence, honor, and salutations to our spiritual parents, Apostle T and Pastor C. Utabwashe. We remain grateful to God for you. Online church, thank you for joining us this evening. Please stay connected until the end of the service. Make sure you share the link and so that somebody's life is transformed. Those present here on ground, thank you for coming. Uh, you shall surely see your life move from one level of glory to another level of glory. We shall read our verse, uh, that leads to our prayer point, from Psalms 144, verse number 2, the NIV version. And it says, He is my loving God and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge, who subdues people under me. Praise the Lord. This is what we want to pray for this evening. We want to pray for the protection of God. For the Bible is saying he is our fortress. Another version says he is our stronghold, our high tower, our loving kindness. We want to pray to the ancient of days, the one who can deliver us. We want to pray this evening that every son and daughter may depend on God for protection, for safety, for deliverance and for their blessings. And our prayer point this evening says, Father, help every son and daughter of this commission 
to trust and depend on you for safety, for deliverance, protection, and blessings. This is what we want to pray for this evening. We want to cover and stand the gap for every son and daughter in this commission to depend on God entirely, to find their refuge in God for them for their deliverance to come forth, praise the Lord. Let's repeat the prayer point together as we go into prayer. Let's say, Father, help every son and daughter of this commission to trust and depend on you for safety, deliverance, protection, and blessings. Let's just go before the Lord and pray and begin to pray. Our loving Father, help every son and daughter of this commission to depend and trust on you for safetyation of days. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus on every son and daughter. Let them stand in the word according to Psalms 91. Allow the mention of days to dwell under your shadow. Allow the mention of days to walk in your ways in the mighty name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus. When they call upon you, Lord, may you answer them. Ancient of days, help every son and daughter of this commissioner to trust and depend on you for deliverance and protection. Father, for you promised in your word in Jeremiah 1 8 that you always be with us to protect us, to deliver us. Help every son and daughter of this commissioner to depend on you for their safety, for their protection, for their deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rakasate, Riakata, Yakasataraba, Riketete, Yeketeraba. Father, perform your word according to Jeremiah 119, that even if people fight against them, they shall not prevail, for you shall protect them and deliver them. Protect every serving member of this commission in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Ancient of days be their deliverance. What is it we ask of you that is not that you cannot do? You are the God of all flesh, nothing is too hard for you. We stand the gap for every son and daughter of this commission. Ancient of days, help them. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, we look unto your ancient of days. Help every son and daughter of this commission to trust and depend on you for their blessings. Allow them to be blessed in their coming in and in their going out. Let the fruit of their womb be blessed. Bless them, Lord, in the work of their hands. Bless them, Lord, every day of this month. Bless them, Lord, every month of this year. Allow them, Lord, to depend on you for their blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. As we conclude the prayer point and the worship team comes on stage, let's repeat the prayer point together at the top of our voices with emphasis loudly and say, Father, help every son and daughter of this commission to trust and depend on you for safety, deliverance, protection, and blessings. Let's just celebrate God as he has done it for us. Let's just celebrate as the worship team takes over. Uh.
to our second prayer point which says Father shame and disgrace those cursing and fighting apostle and family and this commission in Jesus name I shall read Psalm 109 verse 19 and 20 so give him a gift a costume of curses he can wear cases every day of the week. Wow. Our enemies are going to wear a costume of cases every week. They will be putting on a garment of shame. Hey, you can imagine. Uh, we want to go before the Lord and ask the Father to put a sh shame and disgrace to every one of them who is cursing and fighting the apostle and their family. So may we declare together this prayer point and say, Father, shame and disgrace those cursing and fighting apostle and family and this commission in Jesus' name. Let us go before the Lord and ask the Father to put a garment of shame upon the enemies of Apostle and their family. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we come before you this evening in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we ask in your name that you may shame and disgrace those cursing and fighting apostle and their family. In the mighty name of Jesus, whosoever is putting a curse, whosoever is cursing and fighting this commission, let them put a garment of shame in the name of Jesus. Let their reward be shame in the name of Jesus. Let Rabba Kassanta Mahaya. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus, let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together. Those that are cursing Apostle and their family, those that are cursing this commission, let them be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. Those that are rejoicing at our head as a commission, let them be clothed with shame. Let them be clothed with dishonor in the name of Jesus. Those that magnify against their, this commission, let them be brought to confusion in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, may you shame and disgrace the enemies of this commission. May you put to shame those that are cursing and fighting apostle and family. In the mighty name of Jesus, take over Holy Spirit. We surrender this battle in your hands. Oh Lord, the creator of the universe, may you put to shame those 
those that are casting apostle and family and this commission in the mighty name of Jesus oh Lord do not keep silent do not keep silent father for the mouth of the wicked has opened against apostle and family do not keep silent oh Lord may you clothe our enemies with shame may you clothe the enemy of apostle and family with shame in the name of Jesus oh Lord let them be ashamed and grow brought to confusion in the name of Jesus those that rejoice at our downfall let them be ashamed in the name of Jesus may they put a garment of shame whosoever is devising our head whosoever is plotting our downfall whosoever is planning evil against apostle and family let them be ashamed in the name of Jesus let them be disgraced in the name of Jesus let the garment of disgrace be their portion all the days of their life whosoever is fighting apostle and family let them be put to shame whosoever is cursing apostle and their family let them be disgraced in the name of Jesus Lord disgrace the enemies of apostle and family may you disgrace them may you put them to shame in the name of Jesus let this be the reward of the wicked in the name of Jesus may this be the reward of this of the wicked those that are cursing and fighting apostle and family in the mighty name of Jesus father we ask in the name of Jesus let this be the reward of the adversaries of apostle and their family in the name of Jesus those that speak evil against their family those that speak evil against this commission let them be brought to shame let them wear a garment of shame all the days of their life whosoever is cursing apostle and family let them wear a garment of shame all the days of their life in the mighty name of Jesus Santa Mahaya, Mare Terebo Santa Rica Mahaya, Mare Terebo Santa Mahaya. Father, let them be confounded and put to shame those that are seeking after their soul. In the name of Jesus, let them be turned back and brought to confusion. Those that devise their head. In the mighty name of Jesus, every adversary, every enemy of apostle and pastor C, let them be ashamed forever. In the name of Jesus, let them put on a garment of shame all the days of their life. In the mighty name of Jesus, take all the glory, Lord. Take all the honor. We thank you, Jesus, for putting the enemies of apostle and family to shame and this commission. In Jesus' mighty name, may we declare together for the last time and say, Father, shame and disgrace those cursing and fighting apostle and family and this commission in Jesus name I leave this time to our choir in Jesus name Amen Hallelujah We thank you Jesus we exalt you Jesus we give you all the praises the glory and the honor Jesus you reign for Forever, Jesus, your name cannot be stopped. You are the wisdom of the Father. You are the Son of God. You reign forever, Jesus. Your name cannot be stopped. You are the wisdom of the Father. You are the Son of God. You reign forever, Jesus. Your name cannot be stopped. You are the wisdom of the Father. You are the Son of God. You reign forever, Jesus. Your name cannot
Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We, thank you. we, thank you. we glorify your name. In the mighty name of Jesus, we glorify your name, King of glory. You reign forever, King of glory. Just find ways to worship this majesty. Just worship the King of glory. Just worship Elohim El Shaddai Adonai. Just worship the King of King. Just worship the Alpha and Omega. Shakate, Zepekate, Kebadosh, Kamarakatera, Zadiakato. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Master. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Master. We worship you, Lord. We glorify your name. You are with Lord. You are with Lord. You are with Lord. May your name be glorified above all other names. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Praise the Lord Church. Praise the Lord Church. I welcome you in the days of the Holy Ghost. This is the, the last day of season 50, 58. Praise the Lord. This is the last day. Praise the Lord. And the grace has found me that today I'm going to close the 58 and we started 59 again. We will not stop until the whole world knows that Jesus is the King of Kings until the whole world knows that Jesus is alive until the whole world knows that we serve a mighty God until the whole world knows that God is on our side I said we will not stop Hallelujah That's why a musician said He said And I will not be silent I will always worship you as long as I am breathing. I will always worship you. Praise the Lord. So as long as we have the breath we are not stopping to preach the gospel. We are not stopping to worship our God. We are not stopping until the whole world know that Jesus is the supreme ruler. Jesus is alive. Jesus is the king of kings. Jesus is the only lion of the tribe of Judah. When he rose, or other lions, they make their tails down in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. So we are on the last day, season, season 58, day 21. Praise the Lord. And the mysteries and the revelations that are coming through your servant. Ah, we are getting better and better. I might not have an expensive dress. I might not have an expensive stiletto. But I have the weight inside of me. I have the weight of God. The weight of God in Acts chapter 19 verse 20 says, So mightly grew the weight of God and it prevailed. I know with the weight of God has a capacity. I have the potential to prevail by the weight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Church of Jesus. Come on, let's celebrate the Holy Ghost. Wherever you are, you are connected online. You are here on the ground. Come on, let's celebrate the Holy Ghost. Let's celebrate our chief intercessor. Let's celebrate our advocate, our comfort, our tutor, our helper, our standby, our paracletos. Come on, church of Jesus. Let's celebrate. You can all night. You can clap your hands. You can jump around. Yay! Come on, shout! Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Master. Before we pray, I've been singing this song since the morning. I, I, I believe the Holy Ghost has something to do with this song. You are worthy of the praise, worthy of the all. Glory to you, Jesus. You are worthy of the praise, worthy of the all.
place of worship. Just say glory to you, Jesus. You are worthy of all the praise and the honor. There's no one like you. We worship you, Lord. We glorify your name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to end up, before we end up into a moment of prayer, I want to pray for this commission first. Before we pray for this commission, we want to celebrate the general of God, Apostle T. Tabgash. Let's celebrate the anointing that is upon our lives. Come on, let's celebrate the general of God, Apostle T. Tabgash. Come on, Church of Jesus, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate the Holy Ghost. Let's celebrate. Let's thank God for his general, the apostle. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's declare long live apostle. Long live apostle. For generations and generations to come. For generations and generations and to come. And fulfill your purpose and mandate without fail. And fulfill your purpose and mandate without fail. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. So shall it be. Amen. The Lord is going to give his servant longevity that he will live long to declare the goodness of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. He once said at 120, you'll be giving communion. And I believe it will happen in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, we want to end in a moment of prayer to pray for this commission. We want to thank God for this commission. Some of us, when we were in the former church, we were not like this. So this for me commission has brought some changes in our lives. Good changes. Turn around. Things have changed. I wasn't bold like this. I was fearful. But in this commission, we were schooled with scriptures every day. Amen. What's the revival of every day started in this commission? Yes. So in this commission, we are grounded in the word. Amen. We have the foundation of the word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Therefore, we remain fearless. We are not afraid of anything. Yes. No matter what comes in our way, we know God is on our side. If God be for us, who can be against us? And the Paul said in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Christ Thank who loves us. Yes. We are not conquerors by what we do, yes. but through Christ, we are more than conquerors. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's go to the word of God. The book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 24. We always repeat this every day when we take communion. The man of God always say, declare, let's declare blood of Jesus, speak better things for my life, speak for my family. But today we want to take it as a prayer point that we pray that the blood of Jesus, we want the voice. When we are talking about the blood to speak, we are talking about the voice of the blood of Jesus to be audible. That the voice of the blood of Jesus voice against all other voices that speak against us. I shall read. And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling, that speaketh better things than that of Abel. Praise the Lord. Amen. The blood that speak better than the blood of Abel. The blood that speak better things than in that of Abel. If, if we, are, we are to give examples, there are many rituals that are done against the church, against the saints, against the blood of Christ, even against this commission. Those are like the blood of Abel. But there is a supreme blood that went on Calvary, that was shed on Calvary 
for us the blood that speaketh better than any blood that was uh, sacrificed anywhere else. You don't know when you are in Harare that in the rural area they are kill, killing bulls there. And they are saying in Harare nothing shall come out of there. They are saying your children shall not be married. They are saying you shall not ever be promoted. They are saying you shall not buy a car. They are saying you will remain a tenant in Harare. But we have the blood of Jesus that speaks better. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I want to pray for this commission. We want to speak that let the voice of the blood of Jesus be more audible than all demonic plans of the devil. All arranged. All demonic plans arranged. Now you can fall after me and say, Father. Father. We plead, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ to speak, to speak against, against all demonic plans, all demonic plans arranged against this commission, arranged against this commission in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Begin Jesus. Begin to raise Christ. your voice and pray for this commission, nullified by the blood of Jesus. For the word of God said we overcome by the blood of Jesus and the word of our testimony. Come on, let's pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we, we declare the blood of Jesus every demonic Lord. plan against this against commission. We nullify by the blood of Jesus. We declare the, the voice the of the blood of Jesus, Jesus to speak Father, louder the than Jesus. all demonic plans, than all demonic arrangements. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare the voice of the blood, blood of Jesus to speak louder. The voice of the blood of Jesus to be more audible. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus. Karabasata, come on and pray for this commission. Let the voice of the blood of Jesus speak. Speak for this commission. Speak for this commission. Kerabasata, Shetereboshan, Rakatarabasati. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare the voice of the blood of Jesus. We declare the voice of the blood of Jesus. Shetereboshan, Rakatarabasata, Jekekatebariata, Ratereboshan, Yakatakabasa. The voice of the blood of Jesus. We declare the voice of the blood of Jesus. Jesus, shatere takabaru sadai ratara basakata in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jehovah God. May you kindly declare after me again for the last time the prayer point and say, Father, Father, we plead, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ to speak against. All the demonic plans, all the demonic plans arranged against this commission, arranged against this commission in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. Amen. The blood of Jesus will speak louder in Jesus' name. We are moving on to a personal prayer point. We want to speak the same blood, though we have an extra scripture on this prayer point. We want to speak the blood of Jesus. There is a reason why I speak the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is powerful. The same blood of Jesus delivered the children of Israel out of 430 years of captivity. 430 years of captivity was nullified by just the blood that was put on the walls. Praise the Lord. That was put on the door. 430 years was nullified. But here we are. This one was a, the blood of the lamb. But this one is the blood of Jesus. And we are even taking the blood of Jesus every day. Every day. To an extent that when you go for DNA tests, they will see the blood of Jesus. They will not see your blood. They will see your blood of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So everything in every time on your times, when you are praying for yourself, when you are fighting battles, speak the blood of Jesus, child of God. It has power to deliver you. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are reading this one. This one we've already read it. Can you put uh, the Zachariah? Yes, put Zachariah. Zachariah chapter 9 verse 11. Put Zachariah, thank you. Zachariah. Yes. The word of God in Zachariah chapter 9 verse 11 says, As for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoners 
out of the pit wherein is no water. The blood of Jesus. There is a covenant that was made when we received Jesus. We received the seal of the blood of Jesus. The covenant of the blood of Jesus. We entered the covenant with Elohim himself. God the Father who gave his only begotten son by his blood. And we entered in a covenant. Here the word of God says you are coming out of that waterless pit by the covenant of the blood. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's go to our prayer point. May you can be full of time and say, Father, Father, by the power, by the power of the covenant, of the covenant, of the blood of Jesus Christ, of the blood of Jesus Christ, cause everything, cause everything about me, about me, anything, anything, and anyone, and anyone connected to me, connected to, to me, be delivered, to be delivered from any captivity, from any captivity in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Begin to speak the power of the covenant of the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we speak the covenant of the blood of Jesus. We declare the covenant of the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. By the covenant of the blood of Jesus. We are coming out of any captivity. From any waterless pit. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. We are coming out of any any waterless pit in the mighty name of Jesus. We are delivered. We are not confounded in the name of Jesus by the voice of the blood of Jesus that speak better. We are coming out by the covenant of the blood of Jesus. We are coming out of any captivity in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we glorify your name. Father, we thank you. Father, we give all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus we give you all the praise we give you all the, you all the, you all the honor thank you, God. thank you Jehovah God thank you Elohim El Shaddai thank you Master we glorify your name in Jesus name thank you Jehovah thank you Master may you kindly repeat after me for the last time our prayer point and say Father Father, by the power of the covenant, by the power of the covenant of the blood of Jesus Christ, of the blood of Jesus Christ, cause everything, cause everything about me, about me, anything, anything, and anyone, and anyone connected to me, connected to me, be delivered, be delivered from any captivity, from any captivity in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Amen. Praise the Lord. Your relatives, your friends shall be delivered by your prayer in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Want to end any moment of worship? Then we enter to the word of God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jehovah God. Just lift your hands towards heaven in adoration to the King of Kings, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, King of glory. We worship you, Lord. We glorify your name. We declare you are holy, you are mighty. Shatarabas, Shatarabara. Kerede bo shatarabakatarabada. Shaketerede bo shatarabayana. O rababa baba baba terede bo Ora <laughs> Thank you, Father. Holy, 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 holy.
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. We give all the praise. We give all the honor in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's celebrate the Holy Spirit once again in the house. Come on, let's celebrate the Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Savior. We glorify your holy name, Jehovah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master of the universe. May your name be glorified, King of glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We may take our seats in the presence of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's lift our Bibles towards heaven. Let's lift our Bibles. May you declare after me and say, this is my Bible. I believe what it says I am. Do you believe? If you believe, you shall see the hand of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. It is not enough to have the Bible and you don't believe what is in the Bible. We will know that you believe in the Bible when you act according to what is written in the Bible. Praise the Lord. No matter the situation, no matter the circumstances, when you believe in the, your Bible, you are not changed by what you see. You are not changed by what you hear. You are changed by the truth you know. For the Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Your freedom comes by knowing the truth. Not just knowing but acting according to that truth. Praise the Lord. When we act according to the word of God, that's when we believe that you have faith. You believe the word of God. Praise the Lord. When you believe no weapon formed against you shall prosper, that means even if someone with a gun comes and points at you and say, do you still believe in Jesus? You stand boldly and declare, yes, I believe in Jesus. Because you believe no weapon formed against you shall prosper. The fact that that gun is pointed at you, it will not prosper. Praise the Lord. Uh, I have many testimonies of some other generals of God who were threatened, who were shot, gun bullets, bullets coming, hitting on the chest without a bulletproof, a physical bulletproof, but there was a spiritual bulletproof that it could not penetrate inside. When you believe, faith is our victory. Let me tell you, Church of Jesus, that faith is our victory. When you believe, all things are possible. I say when you believe, all things are possible. Hallelujah. All you need is to believe. Don't doubt. Don't waver. Don't stagger. Stand firm in the word of God. Because forever, oh Lord, your word is settled in heaven. The Bible says, the word of God said, heaven and earth shall pass away but my word shall remain so if the whole earth some of you you have traveled abroad you have seen nations and nations but God is saying whatever you have seen the whole world either on the internet or you have traveled all this shall pass away and the heaven you are praying to go to the heaven shall pass away again. But only the word shall remain standing. So child of God, you better stand with that one which will remain. You better stand with the word that will remain. If you stand with your friend, your friend shall pass away. If you stand with your brother, your brother shall pass away. If you stand with your sister, your sister shall pass away. If you stand with the connections of this world, they shall pass away. But the word shall remain standing. I said the word shall remain standing. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. So this evening, I don't have something new. I'm just preaching what Apostle has been teaching us. Praise the Lord. If not the same scripture, hallelujah. Romans chapter 1, verse 16 to 17. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. 
to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For the reign is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As I have said when I'm, I was starting that the word of God shall remain. Shall remain standing. So when you are basing everything of your life with the word of God, child of God, you are on the right position. Praise the Lord. You are on the right direction. Tambo nyi perwa nene ngawa chi advertise a sandak. Mamu zwa songi advert ye sandak. Jisindu kape ka sandak urum right direction. Ah, ngu nye perwa. Do you know the wrong direction, manji? Bozo sandak o kato feka ka varika. Ono skora wa ku shoboka shoboka mbura yes way to makumbu. So it's the wrong direction. But when you have the weight, you are in the right direction. I said when you have the weight of God, you are in the right direction. Praise the Lord. The weight of God comes to energize us. We are still strong right now because of the weight. Some of you, if it wasn't the weight that is preached by the men of God here daily, ah, we should have buried you. But the weight of God is power. That's why Paul had to explain to the Hebrews and said the word of God is powerful, sharper than two-edged sword, to the dividing of the bone and the marrow, and is the discerner of the hearts of men. That means the word of God can penetrate where there is a jurawo, where there is a razor wire, where there is electric fence, where there is fortification. What is extreme fortification? The word of God can enter. Praise the Lord. The word of God comes to humiliate everything that boasts that it has power. Because it is the ultimate power. Praise the Lord. The word of God is the ultimate power. Let's go to the word of God. Um, this scripture the man of God has been reading to us. I'm going to use the same scripture. And I'm not going to say something new. I'm going to say the man of God has been teaching us. Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 27. Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 27. We'll read King James Version, then we'll go to NLT. For thou, O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, hast revealed to thy servant, saying, I will build thee an house. Therefore hath thy servant found in his heart to pray this prayer unto thee. In other ways, David the king was saying, I'm praying because you said something. If you God did not promise me anything, I was going to keep quiet. But because you said this, I am praying. I am praying because you said this. The NLT said, O oh Lord of heaven's armies, God of Israel, I have been bold enough to pray. Hallelujah. I love this. Uh, the NLT says, I've been bold enough to pray. Sometimes people wonder, where is your energy? Where are you getting this strength to keep pushing forward with all this around you, with all these battles, with all these arrows shot towards you, but you are still standing. Where are you getting the boldness? The word of God says, I have been bold enough to pray this prayer to you because the boldness is caused by a because. There is a reason. Everywhere you hear because is, is now revealing the reason. Because you have revealed all this to your servant saying, I will build a house for you. A dynasty of kings. Hallelujah. A dynasty of kings. So the men of God said, I have to pray. 
David said, now I'm praying. The reason why I pray is because it has been revealed. It's because it has been revealed that God said to me. Have you ever read a scripture in the Bible? That when you read, you jump and scream. Not because you have, you have, you have seen something physical. But that scripture hits exactly what you have been looking for. Maybe you have been praying for something. You have been asking, having questions in your heart, in your mind. Why is this like this? Why is this like this? But the moment you read a scripture, there is a moment you jump and scream. Because that word is tailor-made for your situation. Praise the Lord. So David is saying, I began, I began to become bold because of this. That you are going to build me a house. Praise the Lord. I declare upon your life whatever God has promised you by his word in the volume of the book whatever God promised in his Bible ah child of God take a bold stance and pray without ceasing I said pray without ceasing don't mind those who mock you don't mind those who comment Stand firm knowing he said it. David said my boldness was in knowing that it's you God who said it. I'll make you the head and not the tail. Whatever that looks like a tail that is, uh, that is crushing towards my destiny, I reject it because the word of God said, I'll make you the head and not the tail. Praise the Lord. The church of Jesus of today, the only thing that we should do, engage on it 24 7. If even in your spirit when you are asleep, you have to pray. The reason why the word of God says pray without ceasing. He knows also the enemy is not ceasing. He is also doing enchantment and divination against you. So you should also pray without ceasing. Paul said, be, David said, I was bold enough. I declare boldness upon your life. That when you pray, you don't shake. When you pray, you don't move. You know what? I am standing on the word of God. As long as I am the standing on the word of God, I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. Praise the Lord. I shall not be moved. Praise the Lord. When you hear Jeremiah in chapter 9, I made two verse, 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 Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 20 or 20, verse 9. I, sometimes I mix up scriptures. Jeremiah said, it was just like fire shut up in my bones. I could not keep quiet. Why is Jeremiah not keeping quiet? There is a reason. I said there is a reason. Jeremiah was not keeping quiet. Ukawona uchinyarazwa hauna shawa kanzwa. Nacha hauna shawa kawona. Hauna shawa kabata. Kana hauna shawa kanzwa hauna rarizwe. Jeremiah said it was just like fire. Shut up in my bones. Why was Jeremiah not keeping quiet? Because the very chapter one, Jeremiah had an encounter with God. God said, Jeremiah, I have appointed you upon nations to uproot, to destroy. And God went on to say, on chapter, on verse 18, and said, I did not just appoint you to destroy nations. No, I don't just appoint my son or a daughter and leave you vulnerable. And he went on to verse 18 and said, I've made you today a defense city, an iron pillar, a brass and wall. They shall fight against you, but they shall not prevail. So when they were fighting him, Jeremiah was not moved. It was like fire because he had an encounter with God. I declare and declare that this month before this month and you are going to have an encounter. I declare divine encounter. I declare an encounter. An encounter with Elohim himself that will cause you to be unstoppable. 
if you have an encounter haunyara zike if you have an encounter haunyara zike haunyara zwine yo gut mana ajaira mukaka wa mai chero mkamba yo gut inona ka hajika ano ramba ano zokuti pane mukaka wa mai wachoti kana ndikanu ano kuchidzia haleluya so when you hear Jeremiah said Then I said I will not make mention of him after receiving threats after receiving sharp warnings that is stop talking about this your god don't mention about it again but Jeremiah said then I said I will not make mention of him akatobozi decide now senge we wakambota ina chai ndi kuchechi zvinhu zvacho zvakangu But yeah here because it was like fire praise the lord men of you you retired come to church makato yetu kamukapinda church mukayetu kamukapinda mukayetu makanyarara zvenyu hamuna kuchiudza asema kayetu kakakawanda denga rai recorder muchiyetu kamuchipinda muchiyetu Jeremiah did it you are not the only one don't worry about yourself be of good cheer don't worry yourself because the bible even says a righteous man falls seven times and rises so if you fall down and you don't wake up you are unrighteous but when you fall and you wake up you are a righteous man being righteous is knowing that i've fallen because if you fall just leave that script i'll come back if you fall down and you wake up I said to Dad, I'm here again. I don't have any way to go. You are my father. I don't have any way to go. And you hold on to him. God will know that you don't have a step father. You are the only father he has. You have. But when you fall and lie down portrait and say that child of church, it means you have option B. But if you have with Jesus as your option A and A and A forever you are not moved you are not shaken you hold on when you fall down you remove your dust Isaiah 54 said shake off you from your dust shake yourself from your dust you shake yourself and go forward you don't listen to the comments of people who say eh hey, hey, okay Ava vakaita zvakati nezvakati don't mind them they don't have a heaven to put you when you die they don't have all they have some of them they just have this roof of iron sheets they don't have the heaven praise the lord hallelujah Re- retain my, my 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 scripture so that i wanted to explain that prayer is triggered when you have a revelation prayer without a revelation is a waste of time but when you have a revelation when you have the truth of the word of god ah come rain come thunder you remain standing you keep saying it yeah let me say jeremiah said then i said i will not make mention of him nor speak any more in this name in his name but his word in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones and i was weary with the forbearing and could not stay so the weight of god the bible says our god is a consuming fire if you if if you if you check first uh, john chapter 1 He said in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god and the word of god and god is a consuming fire our god is a consuming fire so jeremiah said the word was in me and yet the word of god is god himself and god is a consuming fire so the fire was keep burning inside of him that he could not be silenced 
Let me tell you, child of God, as long as you have the word of God, you have what was prophesied upon your life, you are unstoppable. That's how we seek. That's how we are sick. Praise the Lord. Only the one who put the fire in you can, be, can silence you. Not anyone else. No one can silence you. So Jeremiah said I could not keep quiet. Because he, when he ate an encounter in chapter 1, he was alone. And God was asking questions. Jeremiah, what do you see? And Jeremiah said, I can see an almond tree. And God said, you have seen very well. For I will ascend my weight to perform it. So it was an encounter, a long encounter. Beginning from chapter, from verse 5. It was about Jeremiah. Jeremiah, God saying, I, I, I have known you. Before you were formed in your mother's womb, God was lecturing to Jeremiah, telling Jeremiah who he is. And in this chapter 20, he could not be stopped because he know I had an encounter with this angel of days. People are talking whatever they are talking. They are stopping me because they don't know what ended me. I declare, child of God, the word that ended you. <laughs> no matter the gang up of hell, no one can stop you. It is the word that will make you to pray without ceasing. Praying without season, without the word is difficult. But when you have the word, you'll be quoting scriptures and scriptures. Even when you are quiet. If you made it, I, 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 I do it. Personally, I do it. There's a moment that you think Pastor C is just driving a car. I'm not just driving a car. I've been, I'll be waging war. I'll be fighting while I'm driving. I, I don't talk. Sometimes I don't move my, my, my lips. But scriptures will be exchanging. Bullets of scriptures after scripture. Kadabasha. They'll be exchanging. Firing weapons. Declaring. In, and I know that there's something. There's a shift in the atmosphere. There's a moment that when you meditate on his word. Your body begins to shiver. Like someone who has been in, in exposed to cold. Because the weight of God is in power. If the weight of God is God, if you spend two, three hours meditating on the weight of God, ah, spending God, with God all that time, three hours, you come out a transformed person. Praise the Lord. He said, because I begin to pray because there has to be a reason why you pray. You have to get a reason why you are praying. You don't pray because others are praying. You don't pray because apostle called you to church to pray. But if there is something you hear. There is an encounter you have. There is a word that you grabbed. A scripture that spoke to your life. I decree and declare. From today, there is a divine encounter that will happen to you. We are on day number 14. I think we are left with only 16 days to reach 30 days. In these 16 days, I said in these 16 days, the God who created the universe in 60 days is going to make an encounter with you. An, an encounter that even your grand-grandchildren are going to talk about it. Praise the Lord. They are going to talk about it. They are going to talk about it. There is going to be an encounter. I'm not just saying. I said the next 16 days, 16 days, every prayer was to appear. But an encounter, your child. Some of you are going to see Jesus' life walking in your room. In the midst of the night, you are going to see Jesus standing by your bed. Some of you, instead of asking what you want, you just scream and cry. Because the presence will be awesome. I said the presence will be awesome. Seeing Jesus in your room, that presence will be awesome.
I'm reminded one of the days, it was 1990, 1993, I was still a teenager. I was still at school and I was asleep. And I heard a voice. That was my first time to do three days, three nights. And I heard a voice. The voice is so much power. It was calling my name. And I thought my father was calling me. And I went and knocked. I said, Daddy, are you calling me? I said, no, I did not call you. But the power I felt by just a name, did not say something, just he heard my name being called. Three times my name was called. And I begin to shiver and sweat it by just hearing the name. What about if Jesus is to appear? I declare anyone in the sound of my voice in 16 days, you are going to see Jesus is going to appear in your room. I said Jesus is going to appear in your room. That encounter that you'll never forget. You know, when you see God, when God speaks something, you are energized to do something that you have never done. You are energized to fast more than before. You are energized to sacrifice. Genesis chapter 12, verse 2. Abraham had an encounter with God. Where God was telling him, I'm going to make you father of nations. And I will make you of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing from that encounter Abraham began to build altar like a crazy man every time when he reached a place he built an altar he reached this place he built an altar because he had an encounter child of God let me tell you let your prayer be triggered by the word that you hear it from God some of you, you are waiting for an audible voice don't wait for an audible voice that Bible is an audible voice when you read it it speaks to you when you read it, it speaks to you I declare a realm where the Holy Ghost is going to take you in this season. A realm of prayer where the Holy Ghost is going to take you. This season is those for the men and women who are going to pray in the realm of the Spirit. Where their forefathers have never reached. Where their ancestors have never reached. Child of God, I pray for you tonight that the Holy Ghost will catapult you to a dimension where you pray without that's my heart's cry that God will take you to a secret place when nobody is in that a secret place where you will know this is me and God nobody David was a man who fell. He fell many times. But he was a man, he was called a friend of God because he could quickly repent and say, God, I sinned again. I'm sorry, Dad. Father, I'm sorry. Child of God, don't let anything that is before you to draw back, to draw you back. Whatever caused you to fall, wake up. Wake up, bounce back. I say bounce back. Let the demonic world know that that woman is back. That man is back. Make an impact in the realm of the spirit. Make an impact. Let the demons know that I'm a shatter. Let the demons know that there is a woman. The Lord has raised. Let the Zimbabwe know that there is a woman raised by God. Let this nation know. Let your Zimbabwe know that there is a man sent by God to redeem us, to deliver us. Praise the Lord. Abraham began to build an altar. The moment God spoke to him, verse 7, Abraham built 
an altar of promise. That God, you did what? You promised me I'm building an altar. <laughs> the reason why we struggle with the people to give is because they don't have an encounter. There is no revelation. If you push someone without a revelation to give, it's like you are stealing their money. It's like you are manipulating people. May people do things by revelation. When you do by revelation, the results are obvious. I say when you do by revelation, the results are obvious. When you pray by revelation, the results are obvious. When you sacrifice by revelation, the results are obvious. I decree and declare, oh, a wave of revelation of scriptures. But when you pray, the weight of God will be real than anything that is sending. Really more real than your fingertips. There's a moment when I read the weight of God, when it's too much on me. I feel like my hands are, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like my fingers are folding. I don't know what happens. I feel fire. I feel overwhelmed. That sometimes I scream. Tears coming. Because it will be too much when God reveals the truth. Let me tell you, church. This is not a secret. Every believer, you go through times of hardships. There's a moment you end in a time of hardship. When you ask yourself, so God, what's next? What do I have to do? Tell me what you want me to do. But in that moment, if you do it with a calm spirit, you will hear a voice. This is the way. Walk in it. This is the way. Walk in it. I decree and declare, none of you shall be confounded. I say none of you shall be stranded. The Lord is going to give you the way. You are going to come out victorious in that situation. When you pray, heaven will kiss the head. I said when you pray, heaven will kiss the head. Thank you, Jesus. There is a moment when God is working on you. When God is working on you for the assignment ahead. Sometimes you pray, the results that come, they are not allowed that the whole world will see it. So that God allows it to happen for those who have big mouth to speak and speak negative about you. Why is he praying? Why is he fasting? Why is he losing weight like this? Like someone with HIV positive. Why, why are you punishing your body? Why are you doing this? Because they don't understand. They don't understand your realm. They don't understand where you stay. That sometimes you don't stay in this world. Sometimes you are taken into another realm where God is calling you the weight of God. Sometimes after apostle is teaching, after apostle, thank you. Sometimes after the man of God teaches us the word, instead of sleeping, you don't sleep. The Holy Ghost comes and starts to teach you again. And to teach you again. Because of the hunger you'll be having to know God, He will teach you again and again. And the following morning you wake up and say, today I'm not going to eat. People around you will not understand you. But you know where you are going, what has been happening. There's no way you can put a louder speaker that God came and told me this and this. It's your personal life. But I decree and declare that the Holy Ghost, the chief intercessor, the Holy Ghost, the chief intercessor, will take you to realms and dimensions where you speak in tongues that you never speak when you were born again. The Holy Ghost can teach you tongues of warfare. We all speak tongues that you know these tongues are not just tongues. They are battles. I am fighting in the spirit. When I speak this caliber of tongues, these are not just tongues. These are not just tongues. They are warfare. 
there are battles that are being won in the realm of the spirit it has not come in the physical but somewhere somewhere has been stopped somewhere somewhere the battle has been stopped on the way coming I decree and declare ah, heart felt we have yet the weight of God more times our prayer level must be changed our prayer level must be changed the man of God has told us about the weight more than 1,000 messages coming on one person this is too much Holy Spirit, school us. Holy Spirit, take us to another level. Teach us again. When Apostle ends, take us again so that we have understanding, so that we are not blinded by that enemy, the devil, who does not want us to know the truth. But I decree and declare any demonic veil that will block you from the truth. Oh, I destroy it by the blood of Jesus, by the voice of the blood of Jesus. I destroy any demonic veil that is in you to catapult in the realm of the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, Shakatabaya, Zetererebosha. I want you to stand up and wage a warfare. Harabasakatabaya. Abraham made many altars. He made an altar of Indimus in Genesis chapter 12, verse 8. And he made again an altar, an altar of no return. In Genesis 13, verse 3 to 4. When you are you get home, I give you an assignment. Go and read. Praise the Lord. And he also built an altar of possession in Genesis 13, verse 17 to 18. He was doing this because there was an encounter. If you have an encounter, you don't struggle to pray because you know the one I met one day is alive. If you have a miracle, if you have a testimony in your life, what God did in your life, you are assured that the one who did it yesterday He's still on the throne. He's not yet dead. No one has yet dethroned him. He's still alive. And he is alive forever. God already spoke 
that word. I want you to go before God and say, Jehovah God, you said this. Now I come boldly to pray because you said so. Nekuti Jehovah Makadaru, Sakadakuna Mat. Nekuti Jehovah Makasitaura, Sakadakuna Mat. Nekuti Jehovah Makadaru, Sakadaku Tanya. Nekuti Makadaru, Sakadaku Sacrifice. I want you to raise your voice concerning your situation and pray to God. I give you five minutes. Go before God and pray. Father, because you say it in your way, Lord, there is nothing that is too hard for you, God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, for you have said, God, you are the God of all flesh, Lord, and there is nothing, Lord, that is too hard for you, Jesus.
you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I decree and declare from today it will be encounter, it's an encounter, encounter after encounter. In the name of Jesus, this fourth month, the fourth man must appear in your life. I said this fourth month, the fourth man must appear in your life. Someone must testify this month. Before this month ends, someone must testify that Jesus appeared in my room. Jesus appeared in my bedroom. Jesus appeared in my house. It's possible. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he appeared to others, he's going to appear to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's come and give. Let's come and give to God. Let's come and give to God. Father God, I declare a blessing for your word said when you give a good measure shall come back to you pressed down, shaken together, running over may there be a good measure of what they have given they have obeyed and given an offering your word said if they obey they shall eat the fruit of the land Jehovah God qualify them to eat the fate of the light. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If you are here, you have not yet given your life to Jesus, or you are there online, you haven't given your life to Jesus. Church of Jesus, let's do this prayer together for the sake of those online and here on the ground. Let's pray. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and my King. From today, I am born again. I am a child of God. My sins are forgiven forever and ever. Amen. Congratulations, you are born again. If you have received Jesus online, type yes to Jesus on that number on the screen. If Jesus happens to come today, child of God, you are already a child of God. We will march together victoriously into the kingdom of our God. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Let's go to our tables and take our communion. Let's go to the tables and distribute the communion. Father God, I declare the communion elements sanctified in the hands that you have prepared to be blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus, to the glory of your name, I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can you sing for us as we take communion?
believe you have all received communion elements. If you have received, let's stand up and declare. Jehovah God told the children of Israel that when you are taking the meat of Exodus after taking after they received the blood on their doors, God said, when you are taking this meat, you eat while you are standing to show that you are ready to go. Praise the Lord. We are ready to go to our victory. We take the communion while we are standing. Praise the Lord. May you declare after men, declare and say, blood of Jesus. Speak better things for my life. Blood of Jesus. Speak better things for my family. Blood of Jesus. Preserve my nation. Blood of Jesus. Speak better things for heartfelt. Greater laughter. The order of my day. I have the backing of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Let's take the bread. Let's take the blood. Let's appreciate God for the blood of Jesus. Let's begin to appreciate God for the blood of Jesus. Let's appreciate God for the blood of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I'm anyway blessed. Praise the Lord. Thank you, thank you. Tomorrow, we are starting season 59. Season 59. Amen. Season 59. We are the children of our father. Papa Robert Kaya and just started, I don't know how many years now, doing revival every day on the altar. With his age, we are younger than him now. So we should also preach every day. Praise the Lord. If we are, we submit to such an anointing, for that anointing to work on us, we should do what that anointing is doing also. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, tomorrow, Monday prayer altar. Don't miss out. Those who were there last Monday, I announced that Monday prayer altar. Please don't miss out. There is, there, is a, there is a move that is happening tomorrow. Come ready. The Lord is going to do wonders. The Lord is going to do great things. So come ready for Monday prayer altar tomorrow. Our God is able to do exceedingly abundantly according to the power that we can ask. And fresh manna in the morning, 5 to 6 a.m. Don't miss out. If you cannot wake up to come here in the morning, uh, connect and let's pray together. Amen. Praise the Lord. The ladies who came on Saturday morning, are you here? Did you enjoy yourself? Tell those who did not come to, oh, sorry, Jane. Don't, don't tell them a lot. Just say, ah, oh, sorry, Jane. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. It was a wonderful moment. Praise the Lord. Uh, and our shine camp is standing, starting on Wednesday. Shine camp, shine camp. Please, parents, let's make sure our children go to that conference. That's where whatever you are not able to teach, the Holy Spirit will remind or will speak to the general of God to teach your children. When God said, thy children shall be taught of the Lord, it's not God himself who is going to come down and put your children in the class, but he's going to send his servant and start to teach your children the ways of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because your children, some of them, they are not yet grown up to develop a relationship with the Holy Spirit. They cannot understand but when they hear the apostle, they see every Sunday teaching them. And they've seen apostle preaching, doing miracles, delivering the sick. When he speaks to them, they listen. Maybe you have tried to teach something in your house, you failed. But if you send them to Shine Camp, they, came, they will come back transformed uh, by the truth. Amen. So listen, are there people who have come? their pledges or a tithe. Come let me pray for you if you have come with your pledges, tithe, etc. Okay. 
Let's lift our hands towards the heaven and declare our motto and say, in this family, we don't fail. In this family, I don't fail. Put your hand upon your head and declare, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Declare I'm getting better and better. Stronger and stronger. Richer and richer. Na Jesu. Tunenda kure. Na Jesu. Zino ita. Give a jubilee high five to your neighbor. God bless you. Have a wonderful night. Full of divine encounters in Jesus name. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Don't miss out the days of the Holy Ghost. Season 59 starting tomorrow. Better start the first day. You don't know what 59 is carrying. Thank you.